And new at six, Monday will mark 112 years since the Titanic sank. And one family who survived it is buried at a Princeton, Illinois cemetery. Tonight, Jenna Webster explains how the town is now honoring their story and their history. Cemeteries are filled with different stories and histories. What would we be if we had access to all of it? Lex Poppins is on a mission to help discover them. Here are two very, four very nondescript graves, two of which survived one of the biggest disasters in the world, and they're here in Bureau County. The latest discovery marked by a simple pink flag, the Becker family, survivors of the Titanic. And this is our best guess as to where they were located. A nightmare playing out. Jessica Gray is the curator at the Bureau County Historical Society, helping put together the 1912 exhibit, teaching about Nellie Becker and her three children and their journey on the Titanic. There's some voices in the hallway and she's not sure what's going on and she goes out and she meets with a steward and he says, ma'am, you must come right away. Um, get your life preserver on and she says, I have children. Do I have time to dress them? And he says, ma'am, you have time for nothing. Nellie, along with two of her children, made it into lifeboat 11. And she turns around, stands up, and the boat is being lowered, and there is her 12-year-old left alone on the ship. Ruth made it onto boat 13. Ruth Elizabeth Becker is denoted on the floor with a yellow sticker. Drawn now on the museum floor. She's out there for three hours before being one of the first boats rescued by Carpathia. In this paper, their identity is in question. Nellie and the other two waited seven hours to be rescued. Three children is the most amount of children rescued in any one family. She is the hero of that family to get those kids off that ship safely and, and home um, back to America. Nellie and her husband, Alan, later moved to Princeton in 1927 so he could pastor St. Matthew's English Lutheran Church. Even though it's been 112 years since the sinking, people have come in the door and remarked that they remembered this family. Gray's learned the trauma wasn't easy for Nellie uncovering details of a history not many in town know. We've uh, received information that there's another Titanic survivor buried in Ottawa. You know, there was another Titanic survivor who lived in LaSalle, Peru. These seemingly nondescript gravestones, just a small fraction of Princeton's history, with more still to be uncovered. And it's just one of the amazing things about our history that, you know, we should be more aware of as we grow up and teach our kids. In Princeton, Jenna Webster, WQAD News 8. And to learn more about the Becker family and when you can visit the exhibit yourself, you can visit our website, wqad.com.